Hi, I'm Donna Cordova with the California Lottery on the campus of Thurgood Marshall Academic High School in San Francisco. Sure, it looks like a typical high school campus. You've got your lockers, your sneakers, and homemade posters promoting the prom. But by nature, this small school is anything but typical. We're designated as a receiving school for students who are uh, beginners in learning English. That's right, along with kids already challenged with having to master core subjects like biology, chemistry, and math, there are many students struggling to learn the language, which students at Thurgood Marshall accept as normal. Some of everybody is very diverse. If you pay attention, the words will be easy. The whole feel of it, everyone's just so close and it's like a family. And like a family, they've all got to do their part to make things work. That's where supplemental funding from the California Lottery can help. The school uses its part of the funding to purchase supplies and tech items specifically meant to bring textbooks to life, like this computer lab for the digital arts class. Their lives are probably going to be on the computer. They need to learn how to use them very quickly without thinking. Projects can seem like fun, but with a purpose, including the campus newsletter, with headers translated in three different languages. Yeah, I showed my parents. They were proud. Like, they felt like I was a smart individual. Helping the child can mean helping the greater community. So the challenge for educators is to break things down in a way students can easily understand. Even complicated subjects like physiology or the study of living things. They have a lot of misunderstandings that their families or their friends still perpetuate and they, they're starting to learn more than the people around them and they can educate each other. There's even a club that focuses on healthy eating, teaching them a better way to cook things like chips, chicken and sweet potato pie. Supplemental funding from the California Lottery accounts for less than 2% of the state's overall education funding pie. The rest comes from other sources which often fluctuate, often leaving educators with a mission, a task, and a wish list. Um, calculators or uh, translators for students that are uh, perhaps English learners, dictionaries. Not your typical request, but then again, there was nothing typical about Thurgood Marshall, a giant in the civil rights movement and first African American member of the U.S. Supreme Court. We're really trying to give them the best experience that we can. It, it is challenging, but it's a delight. In San Francisco, this is your California Lottery News.